and not taking any and giving them the option to have a couple of extra plays and uh, preventing us from seeing the win. So our guys showed up, uh, both coaches and players showed up with tremendous attitude, which is not surprising. They get right back to work and we'll get better and all focus on improvement and getting ready. That's super surprising to me. Cause them boys were crying, man. Y'all, you intentionally did not make that call. You are, you know better. You know you got enough experience. You from old school coaching. Let the questions begin, man. We finna rip you, Mario. We got to rip you, bro. Yada yada yada. Look at them. It's a thousand. They ready. They boy. They got so many questions on for them. Look at Mario. Look, looking like, looking like, what's coming next? Yeah, they coming. Of course you're not going to see no clarity. Because they meant to do it. Y'all all was a part of this scheme. Listen, I saw the ref with his Kentucky Fried Chicken looking at. I, it's amazing how the ref was able to see Jacoby Young's knee. Oh, it's down. It's not a touchdown. Fraser go on the three. And, and put him on the three. Didn't even mark the ball where the ball at. Marked it where the knee was at. I thought it's where the ball at. You need to honest where the ball is at. Apparently not. But, amazingly, that same Kentucky Fried Chicken looking ass ref, he amazingly could not see Cheney's elbow is down. Come on, man. You got great eyesight to see the knee down, but you can't see the elbow down. Man, stop. Please stop. Please stop. Wow, your skin is amazing. Yeah. I'm so oh, tired of Old Spice and they punk ass commercials. We have, I think that uh, it does win its force, so uh, we have not received. You ain't gonna hear shit from them. You ain't gonna hear it. Y'all tried it. Man, he had to look his fucking head away. He can't, you can't look her straight in the eye. I, I made the car. I didn't make the car. I said I made the car. I, I take ownership. Is that accountability? Are you taking accountability now? Is that what the word accountability mean? To say I did it. I was wrong. Sorry. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. That's not accountability. Where's your punishment, Mario, for this bullshit? Come on, man. We don't want to take no loss. Now, we're in the win. It's a win or our season over now. Pretty much. We can't afford two losses in ACC. And North Carolina don't play anybody the rest of the year. Florida State don't play Louisville. They don't play uh, who else that's good in the uh, conference that I thought might could beat them. <sighs> it's an easy road. They already got past Clemson. Uh, Syracuse don't stand a chance. Now, now we 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 in the we can't lose another we can't lose the North Carolina game. You know we can't lose no other games because we'll have two losses in the ACC and that'll knock us out. Because if we beat North Carolina and FSU, chances are they still only got one loss because they don't play each other. And North Carolina and Louisville don't play each other because that would have knocked each other out too. No. Yeah, absolutely. We always talk openly and honestly, and it's it's no different. I'm saying that we do. That's all. We, the only way we do things around here is that way. And um, I think our team understands that, appreciates that. I think our team is also a team that takes. Wait, man. That, that reminded me of your mantra. The way we do. Every, what is the shit? How we do anything is how we do everything. Is that what it is? So, not making the call, is that how we gonna do every game? Is that 
how we going to do every game. It's not make the call. You said how we do everything, how we do anything, how we do everything. So if you didn't make that call then, oh, you, she said, how do you make sure it doesn't happen? You going to make the call? talk about all this honesty did you tell your players that you had to take a loss on the chin did you take tell your players that the game last year against Virginia was suspect at best the end of the game orchestration at its best Next question. He don't want to hear that question. <clears throat> but you got to hear the question. You got, you got to hear it. You got to hear the question. Because you said y'all followed the process. and transparency you not making the call is not being honest bro you just don't get boneheaded and forget to make a call like that listen man this is this reminds me man why do coaches predict what the hell's gonna happen in the Miami game the opponent Miami's opponent Pre-game seems to know what's gonna happen. I remember 10 and 0 pit coach predicting he's gonna beat us. And they beat us. And you see the Georgia Tech coach petite, uh, before the game? Oh, we're gonna play four. We might even have to play five quarters. What coach predicts they're gonna play five quarters? Please tell me. Ooh. Come on, man. He predicting overtime. That's what they tried to do. I said it way in the third quarter. I was just chatting in the chat. I said, boy, they trying to predict this game. They trying to make it go to overtime. When his elbow was down, I said, they're not going to overturn it. They're not going to overturn it. They're trying to get it in overtime. But it slipped away from Mario because they threw a Hail Mary bomb. Maybe it, maybe it didn't. Maybe they, they, maybe they wanted to lose it. I don't know. Maybe they were trying to get. They thought they were gonna get a little completion, line up for a field goal, tie it, bringing it overtime, and, and try to come back and win it overtime. I'm so tired of uh, these uh, scripts. I'm tired of them. I can't even watch football no more, man. And they don't even know the fundamentals no more in football. He said, line up in victory formation. Do you know the other, I don't remember when, what game this was, several weeks back. It might have been last year, bro. But I remember a team lining up in victory formation. But they in the shotgun. Is it that bad? Boy, I hate the RPO. Boy, I hate it was ever invented. If Listen, they don't know the rules no more, man. They in shotgun. He hiked the ball and kneeled. Right? Victory formation. Why did the line try to hike the ball at the original line of scrimmage? They don't know the ball gets placed back where he kneeled down at. Five yards back. Man, stop it. Stop it. I hate the RPO, bro. Why do we have to be in shotgun and he has to be seven yards behind the line of scrimmage just to get a half yard? That's the 
dumbest football ever. Listen, if I was a defensive coordinator, you know what I would do to the RPO? I had two two of my dime corners at all times. They blitzing. They blitzing. I'm gonna have them. I'm gonna be man up in your face. One of you hit the quarterback. One of you hit the running back, and go straight for their mouth. So when he try to pull or hand it off, they hand it off. both of them getting hit. We owe it to ourselves and to our players, to our entire organization, and we are very own families. To look each other right in the eye and demand the best, the absolute truth from each other so we can always go forward. And that's what we do. Well, Coach, how do we demand the best out of you? Because we didn't get your best. We didn't get your best, but we could demand everybody got to look each other in the eye. But who looks you in the eye? Your eyes are closed now. Who looks you in the eye, Mario? Um, and the way that we train our players, the type of DNA and the players that we recruit, we expected a good response today, you know? Um, and that's what we got. We got across the field and forces out of the mountain for I did like that. I did like that. A lot of people try to say Tyler Vite can't run. He ran dude down and stopped the score that gave us the chance to win. But at the same time, man, I tap into these players, man. Cole, why you don't tell our player they talk too fucking much? They ain't did shit. <clears throat> they talk too goddamn much. And you got beat. But y'all were yapping all game. But the boy busting y'all in the mouth. Y'all yapping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, y'all ain't did shit, man. Why is y'all talking? Core flag talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a penalty. Man, shut up and dominate. I don't even call it, don't even, he ain't got to talk. He ain't got to talk. Just smoke a nigga. Smoke them fools. Got to talk. Of course, the field will give us a chance to win. And that day when we were out of sorts, maybe in times past, um, maybe the team wouldn't fight back like this one. Man, so, shut up. You know, unfortunate, unfortunate. You mean fight back when the coaches are trying to lose? That's right. I do blame it on the players. Because you shouldn't leave it in the ref's hand and you shouldn't leave it in the coach's hand. Whatever play they call, dominate your player. And guess what? It don't matter. It won't matter. The focus is on the tough part and the result, which sucks. But, you know, always when you're as you develop as a team, you got to realize also the moments of growth and development. And there's a lot of it there. I do, I do want to hear that because they can hang their head and this shit can hurt to the point where that shit leaks over into multiple losses in a row. And we got a tough slate. Chain it a little bit. Why ain't you just fall down? That's fundamentals. Let's just say you'd have busted up the middle. Would you have scored a touchdown or would you have kneeled? But the culture would have ripped you if you would have scored. They would have ripped you. Say, boy, kneel. We ain't got to score. You don't got to pad your stats. Kneel. I blame it on TVD. Yeah, let's point it at the players. Cause TVD, you bragging. I can change the play. I can if I don't see a good look. If I don't, well, why you ain't change it to victory formation? 
TVD. Why you ain't changed the play? Like, man, coach tripping, man. We finna down this one. Y'all forgot fundamental football. It is fair. All these questions is fair today. See that adversity word is another word that be just get it just gets under my skin because it likes that's part of the orchestration I seen they want to see adversity so they force uh, uh, you to play bad they call bad play get the team down see if they can come back man fuck all that. I bet it is, because all this shit orchestrated from last year, when you crashed this team, when you tanked the season, yeah, with your eyes cold, my, yeah, Mario, I'm, I'm with you, I already know the program, but from the rip now, because, man, listen, man, you don't say, we have to have a season like that, five and seven, tell me, how do you have to have a season like that, how do you have to have it? Unless you make yourself have it. It's a, come on, man. So what? They can feel how it feels to be sorry? You want to feel how it feels to the, the, the lose a game that hurts? Can you bounce back from it and say, no, that we're going to destroy everything else? He's trying to wrap around the question because he looked at him like, what are you trying to ask me? Well, Mario, I'm going to tell you what he's trying to ask you, okay? Because we all want to know, are we a better team than last year? It looked it like it. The first four games, we were like, man, we might be back. We ain't did stuff since 2002. I heard tough talk all count. It showed me. That, 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 that this this play was real. Cause at first I was like, oh, they talking, and and it's just talk. But they backed it up on the field. Yeah, they showed their little scripted adversity against Texas and M. Okay, boom. Dominated Miami, Ohio. Who, blow, who blowing people out right now? Who blowing people out right now? Come on, man. Come on, man. He's asking. Are we a better team? And what's so funny about this game and this loss is before the loss, we saw riding high. We saw everything looked at good. Everything looked at elite. Everything was looking okay. We, we, we ain't the same Miami. But all of a sudden, there's a question. Are we the same Miami that's going to lose these type games like this? He's wanting to know. Can, can we compare the team now? Is it? We don't know now. We don't know what's going to show up against North Carolina. We would like to say the team of the first four weeks is about to show up. But if Shannon Dawson calls the same type of game plan he did against Georgia Tech, we're doomed, man. It's like he reverted back to Gaddis. He knows. 
listen, man. You can't. You can't there's no going back, bro. Not after the first four games or what y'all showed y'all can do. There's no going back. We could have used any of the game plans from week one, two, three, or four and blew Georgia Tech out with it. We could have used the game, same game plan that Texas A&M. We could have actually called the same plays play by play and would have ran through them. We could have called the same plays we called at Miami, Ohio. Same ones. And would have ran through them. We could have called the same plays at Baton Cookman and ran through them. Fourth and four, and you throw a tunnel screen to the short side of the field. I understand we ran a touchdown in Miami, Ohio with a play like that, but it wasn't fourth and four, buddy. It's a different type of pressure. And urgency the defense has on fourth and four. The same plays that you can run on first, second, third down, maybe even. You may not be able to run on fourth and four, man. You just may not be able to do it. It may, it may work. It may work. But come on, man. Come on, man. And then you go up top and wide block. That's the only time you went up top. So are we a better team? Or is this is... Because everybody's saying, all right, maybe... Because listen, I don't buy it. Uh, oh, it's ACC play. So that's why it was a cover game. I don't buy that. Because I believe Miami of Ohio beat Georgia Tech right now if they lined up. Or it would be a close game. Texas a and will run through them. Come on, man. Now, I can look at it on a, a, a positive note and say, maybe this is because I remember I've been a Kane fan for 40 years. And I remember some of our championship teams did not go undefeated. And they did lose a game like this. I remember that Washington game, Washington Huskies, the Poland coughing, running it down our throat. I remember Brigham Young beating us. I remember, uh, oh my goodness. I just remember a few drops. I know I know we had a few undefeated seasons, one or two of them. But I remember, and maybe this is one of those games. This is the year that we dropped one, and it's a game that made us like, man, we can't lose. We can't. We, we never want to lose again. I mean, we can look at it like that. I guess what he's saying. You got to come to practice. Got to have a attitude. Can't suck in, can't lick your wound, you can't be, uh, you got a man like, fuck, that I ain't finna lose no more. You gotta have that attitude. So I do like to hear him talk like that, but I just know description, the descriptive shit. Keep, keep what? Throwing, trying to throw the balls away? Right. Wasn't it? You knew it was gonna keep me. You know how to call a game to make it a close game, like running up the middle all day. And then I noticed our running back had to run and jump, hop, cut, top, and do all this hopping shit. I said, man, what the fuck is going on with our run game right now? What's all this hopping? Tell me now, all of a sudden, we got to run the ball more effectively. All of a sudden, the worst defense in the ACC has made us revert back to having to run the ball more effectively. And do you fucking hear this shit? Is this honesty? Is this the honesty we're talking about? Man, get the fuck out of here, man. It's not honesty. Because we didn't see the run game. We didn't run our 
our run game. We ran the ball up the fucking middle. We just handed the ball up the middle. We didn't pull the center. We didn't do none of the shit that we've been doing all year. It's out of sorts of us, right? Right. Because we didn't run our run game. We ran that bullshit up the middle. Our running backs ain't know what the fuck was going on. They were like, oh shit, what? I'm used to. Uh, uh, uh. Get the fuck out of here, man. You, exactly. We could have called something better. We, we could have called something better. You fucking right. Hold on. Is it below our standard? Is it? Because the man just asked, comparing to last year, are we better? Are we? Or are we still that five or seven shit? Because if we is, yeah, we can go for him for the rest of the year. And go, what? Eight and four? No, eight, uh, eight and five? Seven and five? Some people predict the seven and five. Just two wins better. Just two wins better to me, that's what you mean it's not the standard? Seven and five is the standard. That is seven and five play. <clears throat> what we just saw. So is is that the standard? Are we we better? Are you saying we're better than we were last year? Because you wouldn't say that. You kind of wrapped around the question. Oh, we compare the stats. Are we running better? Are we tackling better? Do we got this better? Man, shut up with the bullshit. And honesty, I want to hear it for real. Are we better, Mario, than last year? Because that shit we saw in Georgia Tech either was a sabotage or we're not better. And that was the standard. What I can say is, though, about that, and I'm gonna close it right here, is the better we get, the more these losses hurt. So maybe this loss hurt because we are really that good. And listen, football, you never, it's hard to go undefeated. You either always take one on the chin. And when you one of those teams that could possibly go undefeated, but you take one on the chin, them losses hurt almost more than anyone. So let's hope for the best with the cane.